A little while ago, Steam had a rhythm fest, and there were a surprisingly high number of games for the genre named after my favorite word to stump people with in Hangman. Probably the current titan of the genre, Brace Yourself Games, brought back their demo for the upcoming Rift of the Necrodancer. And although the gameplay looks vastly different from its predecessors of Crypt of the Necrodancer and Cadence of Hyrule, the music used is guaranteed to be a hit, and at a later date, I'll make sure to cover it in the series. Today, however, I want to take a look at a different RPG-style rhythm game and see if the end result is harmonious or if there's a sour note among the symphony. Developed by Moonana and published by Serenity Forge comes Key Locker, a turn-based rhythm JRPG set in a silent world where music was outlawed. You play as a singer, Bobo, and throughout the adventure you must utilize your powers on a variety of ways, build friendships, and master the unforgiving combat system, all while having multiple outcomes based on the class you chose at the beginning. It is up to you to shatter the strings of fate and sing the melody of freedom to upset the status quo. In a bit of a spoiler for this video, there's a lot I want to address about my time playing Keylocker, and I still don't fully know where I stand on my experience. I think the art of the game isn't bad, but with my first time playing, I felt like all the colors were a bit much. It did grow on me as I played through my second time, but I did end up preferring the art style used for the cinematic cutscenes over the isometric pixel art, mostly because there was issues with perspective that led to me running into barriers that hurt me. The damage is mostly offset with the abundance of milkshakes, which are the main way of healing, but it did still make traversal a bit cumbersome at times. The music for Keylocker is really solid and having the game have no soundtrack for the first part is a great way to bring the narrative to the player in a more impactful way. Later you do get the ability to play music but only just for yourself given that the biggest sin someone can apparently commit is to sing or play music. One of my big issues with this though is just the fact that I felt like I was playing a different version of Dirty Dancing where instead of the dancing being the greatest offense, music has taken that hold against the almost pearl clutching like overlords. I think Keylocker has a bit more to say as the reasons for banning music seem to revolve around the generation of electricity. With sole ownership of the valuable resource, those in power can subjugate those they deem less than. All of the back and forth of pros and cons hasn't really scratched the surface as a majority of the gripes that I have revolve around a key component of the game, and that is combat. The hex grid turn-based combat seems alright at first, but the more I played it, the more I had issues with just how unprepared I felt as a player. It begins simple enough with the idea to time the attack or dodge with a flash of white, but disregard the fact that the enemy flashes a white key that almost always trips you up when you first come across him, or the fact that each of your attacks have a different timing of that white flash, with one of them being almost right after you commit to the attack. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. When I finally got into the rhythm of timing, I was introduced to an enemy that unleashed an attack, so I was watching them to flash white only for a swing bar to pop up above them, and I ate the entire brunt of the attack. From then on, it was just a smorgasbord of timings being thrown off with pretty much every combat encounter. You eventually get a companion, but you don't even get to choose their move, and when their turn starts, you better be ready, otherwise you'll miss the timing of their attack. I kept thinking that the developers needed to either give me control of my companion so I don't have to be on high alert every second of an encounter, or they need to implement a proper buffer like maybe a quick countdown between attack selection and the attack animation. I know I'm extremely biased in this field as Gladius is one of my all-time favorite games, but the area it excels in most is the swing meters that it implemented. Each different attack has a different style of swing meter, all accompanied by a countdown. While after dedicating yourself you can easily master it where you hit critical strikes with an above average rate, it is easy to miss when you get a little too greedy. But even disregarding that, you're given the option to make the game more difficult by removing the swing bars and making you focus on the character animation for cues on when to strike. The combat of Keylocker feels like it's almost there, but the end result makes things more frustrating than it probably should have been, and I ended up giving up after feeling like I was blindsided by yet another new attack I wasn't prepared for. Overall, there's just too much back and forth in this game. For every instance of something being done well, there's at least one, if not a couple things that I think need to be fixed to make things coalesce in a better package. While there aren't a ton of major game issues, a lot of minor issues start to make me scratch my head like, why doesn't this jukebox have a running up into the right animation? Or why am I not in control of my companion during combat but I am in control of timing their attacks? I do imagine Keylocker will find its niche audience but it becomes really hard to recommend this to the average gamer. The demo is still up if this does interest you but that'll be it for this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and as always, be kind to one another.
Shoutouts go to Relativity, Naughty Dog is King, Chaos, and Kamikolo alongside all those subs to the channel. The YouTube algorithm hasn't been super kind to me recently, so I'd really appreciate any likes and comments to help the channel get back to relevancy, but either way, I will see you soon.